Hi and welcome back to another Q&A. I'm Emmy and welcome to Theatre and Tonic. Here I chat to theatre people and also share reviews of shows up and down the country, but mainly in the Midlands. So today we're really lucky to have Evelyn Hoskins join us and she's returning to Waitress for the UK tour, which begins in September and will be going on various venues around the UK. So stay tuned and enjoy the interview. So, hi Evelyn, thank you so much for joining us today to chat about Waitress. Can you mm -hmm. begin by telling us where it all began for you? Waitress or yes. my career? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> um, yeah, so I saw the original Broadway production in 2016. I went completely on a whim, didn't know anything about the show at all. Um, saw it, fell in love with it, um, fell in love with Kamiko, fell in love with the role of Dawn. And I was like, whoa, because I feel like uh, as, an as an actor, those kind of roles are few and far between. And especially those roles that are maybe the sort of oddball or classified as the oddball. Um, they're not, they're often very surface level. Um, they're not written too deeply. Whereas I felt like, wow, we really see into this person's life and we really see like the struggle and the want to like find love and, and all those things that come with that. And I immediately connected with it. And I loved Sarah's music, obviously it's incredible. And yeah, so fell in love with it, saw the show. I went back a second time, which is... That's always a good show. Yeah, but it's actually one of the only... It's one of the few shows that I've done that with. Um, so I then, yeah, I was in... I happened to be in New York uh, a few months later. So I was like, I'm going to go back and see it again because I just loved it so much. Um, and then, obviously, the news that it was coming to the West End, um, I was, you know, I was like, please, I said to my agent, please can you try and get me in the room? And I auditioned for the original West End cast. And it was, uh, in the finals, it was me and Laura up for the role. And um, obviously it went Laura's way. And, uh, you know, at the time I was devastated. Um, and then kind of let it go and was like, you know, okay, well, may you know, maybe one day it'll come back round and, you know, hopefully it, it lasts long enough that they'll need um, to do a recast. And then about a year after that, I got a call from my agent saying, you know, they've asked if you'd be interested to take over the role of Dawn. And I was like, yeah, I'll start. And um, <laughs> so we said yes. And then it wasn't until after I'd um, signed to do the show that I found out that I'd be doing it with Sarah and Gavin, um, and it, which was just like, and I'm such a believer in like, everything happens for them, you know, and what's not you know what's meant for you won't pass you by all of that and so I do you know as lovely as it would have been to have been a part of the original company doing it with Sarah for me was like you know a dream <laughs> yeah absolutely yeah. um so obviously join join the cast with her at the end of January 2020 did a full seven weeks of the show uh and then obviously the thing we won't talk about um happened um which was really sad because I was signed I ended up being signed to do the, sh the full run to the end so it was closing in July so I just had news that that they wanted me to stay so I was like oh, amazing and then, you know Lucy was coming back and I was like let's do it with Lucy and and David and um but yes so that all, all closed down in March and then it was quite soon after that that talk of the tour was happening um and and obviously uh, you know I was like I'm not done with this yet like I I really want to I, I still you know I was still discovering things even six weeks into the run so um to have the opportunity to to, to take it out on tour was amazing and I'm so so excited to be back it's so emotional every day is so emotional I guess that's the thing though because it was kind of left undone you know, yeah. it was that kind of part of you that was like, oh, I need to do this because it's undone. I haven't finished. Exactly that. Exactly that. Yes. Yeah. So I'm really grateful that, that we get this opportunity for sure. I guess it was really sad as well, because obviously Waitress closed in the West End without completing its run. And do you kind of wish it that it kind of still came back after the whole lockdown and it still had its time? Yeah, obviously, yeah, that would have that would have been amazing. But you know, different things come with touring. Um, 
that's that I'm really excited about. Like I think when when you're in town as a company, obviously you have like social things together, but ultimately you're going home and you're living your own life and you come in and you work. Whereas on tour, you're kind of you're like this sort of bubble together as a as a family almost. So I'm excited to like have that social time and spend that time with people outside of work as well. Um, but yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously it would have been nice to to have an ending, but we we will. It will just be a bit different. Absolutely. And for those who haven't seen Waitress, because obviously it is a new musical and I still think that people are quite mm. unaware of what it's about. Can you summarise Waitress? Oh, that's really hard, isn't it? Um, <laughs> so it's about, I would say it's about women. It's about friendships. It's about uh, a woman going through a, a, an extremely hard time in her life and she's at a crossroads and it's about the way that, that her friends support her um it's a love story but not in a traditional sense um and the music is just amazing and like you said you were on about the friendship and I, I you know the relationship that you have with Jenna and Becky is obviously really important to that element of the show so do you see friendships that you have outside of work in that show and has it kind of really developed those friendships as such do you think? That's an interesting question I've never thought about it actually um obviously as women we we it's interesting because the other day the girls were talking at lunch and we were just complimenting each other and we were like this should why isn't this the norm like we should be lifting each other up like is life's hard enough already not to quote the show but life's hard enough already we we just yeah we should support each other and we should be we should be doing that and I think that that's quite a strong message in the show as well the friendship that obviously you have with Jenna and Becky in the show so what work have you done as free women to kind of really grow that friendship and make it genuine in the portrayal you mean me Lucy and, and Sandra yeah yeah I mean it's funny because obviously they've done it together before and there's been so many different combinations of Jenna Becky Dawns um that we're just finding what that is for us and actually the creative team have been great and they're like let's find this version for you guys um which has been lovely obviously lucy and sandra both have shows at the moment they're doing that they're doing in the evening i don't know how they're doing it but they are and um so we've not had a lot of like social time together yet um but I've, I've gone to see Sandra's show and you know and they're so sweet like Sandra brought in chocolates for us the other day Lucy brought in donuts today and it's just like it's just I think it'll be something that we develop but what's been lovely is finding the, the show for this combination absolutely so obviously your character is Dawn so how have you developed the character and have you changed anything from playing her before um good question not not tremendously I think I've had the luxury of so when I was put into the show before we literally had like two weeks so it was very much like you know technical um so um, we got to speak about the char character but this time round, I mean we're in a proper rehearsal room for four weeks with with the other actors so there's that luxury of like spending time to talk about it and finding new meanings and listening to the text rather than just kind of like sitting back and knowing what well, this comes here and, and the stakes thinking about the stakes of of each moment more um so yeah there is a different and obviously the dynamic between the waitresses naturally is going to be very different um so it's been fun like being able to, to to discover that absolutely and how does it feel to work alongside matt this time around yeah well it's weird because the waitresses apart from jenna obviously we don't really cross paths we we see him in that final scene um but actually like i've been chatting to him on coffee breaks he's so lovely he's super down to earth super chill and he's he's really great as dr Pometer. you're in for a treat bless you and obviously like you say waitress has a beautiful musical score so do you have a favorite song in the show probably soft place 
and it's my favorite to listen to and it's my favorite to sing as well just because it's so intimate and so we, we've literally just been rehearsing that scene and um leanne the the movement um she's our i don't know what you call her Chore choreography choreographer like movement director is that what they call movement her? director like she's yeah the associate <laughs> what she was just saying like when when the flap that um flower glow when when it turns into like she was like you know it t turns into like a snow globe and everything just moves really and I think for us as well as actors at that moment in the show it's just a moment to kind of be like to slow down and be together and listen and yes it's, I really like that that song and scene. And why do you think audiences enjoy the show so much because you have Wages has quite a big fan base and a lot of people are really into it. So why do you think people enjoy it so much? I think whoever you are, you, you will find yourself on stage. So you will find yourself in a character. You'll see yourself, whether that be Dawn. I have so many amazing women say to me like, I'm Dawn, I am Dawn. And, and like, I felt like that when I watched the show. So I'm like, I hear you. Um, but you know, maybe you're an Ogie, maybe you're a Becky, maybe you're a Jenna, like you find yourself and you, and that, I think that's the most powerful storytelling is when you hold a mirror up to the audience and go, okay, like, what do you, you know, what can you reflect on? What, what do you see in yourself? And, and what does that make you think about? Absolutely. Have you found this time around kind of developing the show quite challenging? And if you have, what have been the challenges? Um, not really, no. I mean, I'm, we're in a lucky position. Like, I'd say 50% of the cast have done it before, which is obviously super helpful. And even though it's been 18 months, it's all in there. It's all logged somewhere. Even if you didn't think it was, you get to a point and you're like, my body is telling me to move to this point, and I don't know why, but... Um, so not challenging challenging in that aspect but I mean everyone's so great everyone's just doing an amazing job and it's all coming together so so far so good yeah, yeah. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. and obviously after the last 18 months it's been such a difficult time and how have you felt that you've or what have you done to kind of keep your passion alive for theatre mm. um I mean, obviously all the streaming has been great and getting to watch things that maybe I necessarily wouldn't have seen had I been, you know, had it been live. So that's been really nice. Um, knowing that I had this as well has obviously massively helped because you have that end goal, you've got that light at the end of the tunnel. Um, and I was lucky enough to do Panto, which was great fun um, for all of two weeks. Um, but yeah, just, and I discovered yoga. Yoga really helped. Um, so that was that was a nice thing to come out of it that I probably wouldn't have discovered had it not been for lockdown. Have you, like you say, you've been to see a few shows. So how has it felt for you as an actor? Because I think an actor's experience and an audience member's experience is kind of different on returning back to theatre. So how have you felt about mm -hmm. going back and have you kind of felt safe going back? Yeah, I, f I feel so safe. I feel so safe in a theatre, yeah. Um, I mean, I, f I think they're... You know, well, I don't need to tell you this, but they, they're no, they're no more. It's no different than going into a supermarket. Um, but it's been, oh my god, the first time I heard a band warm up live, an orchestra, it was just like, oh god, like yes, this is what we've been missing. And there's nothing like it, is there? There's just nothing. Um, you can't replace it. No, I mean the first West End show I did, I just cried like watch like watched it and I just cried all the way yeah. from it. So I don't actually remember yeah. it because I just cried. I was like, because th this is what I've been this is what we've been like yeah like begging to get back. And it's just, you yeah. know, and I think I guess for you guys, you're kind of ready for that first night of waitress now going, how is that gonna feel? I mean, I have goosebumps just thinking about it. I don't quite know how we're gonna get through it. Well, I don't know how I'm I'm gonna get through it. Everything changes makes me cry anyway so when we're on stage oh we'll see <laughs> we'll see <laughs> fingers crossed you'll be okay so if you didn't play dawn what other character do you think you would play i always say ogie but i feel like that's cheating because he's basically the female dawn <laughs> <laughs> so but definitely ogie he has the most fun songs there you go that's what you need to we just needed a female lady instead. I don't think that would work. 
right? I don't yeah. see why that shouldn't happen. They had an old Josephine on Broadway, so. Okay, right. We need to change it up. So finally, last question for you is, what can people expect from Waitress if they haven't seen it before? Mm. Um, amazing music, laughter, and maybe some tears. But ultimately laughter. You'll leave smiling and humming. Great. Thank you so much for chatting to us today, Evelyn. It's been really great talking to you and hopefully people will now go and buy their tickets to see the tour which starts on the 4th of September which is not very far away no thanks for the reminder <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I was checking it I was like oh my god that's really quite close yeah yeah but good we luck to wait. you all and hope you have like the best time kind of putting it together in rehearsals thank you thank you so much